R-E-S-P-E-C-T That's what respect means to me R-E-S-P-E-C-T If I'm gonna mess you up, what the hell? Damn it, Rich, I don't know what to do, our stocks just crashed! This is revenge! The time has come to once again answer life's most savory questions. My name is Chef Smith. I'm from Dublin, Ireland. Um, I'm here in America representing the Smiths. Um, go Dublin! I love, <laughs> I love you! Um, actually, I got a picture right here of my two babies. This is Frankfurt. And Carolina. I love them so much. I miss you guys. And my husband back at home. I love you, Mr. Smith. Anyway, I'm doing this for them. I want the $10,000 for Ireland too. It's a great big deal of happiness right here. Let's go. Woo, I'm number one. Hi, my name is Chef Stewart and I'm a sous chef at the Frying Pan in Denver. I'm doing this competition because I really need the $10,000 to start my own restaurant, but I'm mostly here to do it for my twin girls, Kara and Lucy. I actually have this picture that I carry around with them everywhere. So, um, this is Kara and this is Lucy and I'm really doing this for them. I love you guys! And the secret ingredient is spicy sweet potato fries! making today I'm making a Canadian grilled PB&J so I'm going to start off with a toasted piece of bread now it's my duty to go put it in the microwave so um I'll get back to you on that it's home cured jam and uh, home cooked bacon and eggs so the chef here seems to be measuring some water I'm not quite sure um what is your dish again sir it is it is it is um Noodles, spring onion, garlic noodles. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's other chef in the way here, sorry. She needs to be going to the microwave. And we're back with Chef here. She seems to be pouring on, spreading out her peanut butter for her big classic crunchy peanut, peanut butter. Jam. Oh yeah, yeah, um, that we made on the farm on the farm back um a couple couple years ago. Not years, more like weeks. Ha ha ha. Chef jokes. Oh, I'm gonna need some cinnamon. Oh, she's adding a nice touch of cinnamon to make her dish yeah, more unique. Oh, she's cinnamon. looking. She's looking up. Oh. Because remember, the time is ticking. She's sprinkling it on very delicately. She's taking very, she's taking a lot of care into this. You can tell. It's almost finished. Slightly. Here we have Chef getting her her delicious entree out of the microwave. <laughs> You're low on time. So the time is ticking, everyone. The time Ooh, is ticking. Chef, Ooh. Dublin, Dublin, Dublin. See, that's just Dublin, bad sportsmanship. Dublin, Dublin. I like to work now, mates. Carefully mixing it. Look how carefully she's doing that. N notice that the detail. Here we are, back over here with this chef. She she has already put on her peanut butter. She puts almonds in there. That it's like a salty uh, crunch a to it. And um, she has, I see so, she has her jelly out. It's Look at jelly. It's oh, a family looks... secret um, to put some almonds in the peanut butter. It uh, heightens the taste of the peanut butter and the cinnamon together. Oh, also, family trick. Pepper. Ooh, no, ooh, salt, yum. Salt. Ooh, ooh, salt. Put a little bit of salt. Because oh, it brings out the sugar in the peanut butter. So, therefore, I'm now going to start jellying with my home cured jelly. And I thought you were Irish. 
I don't know what. Whoop me bone clear jelly. 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 Strawberry jelly is the best kind of jelly in there is. Did you make this? This is from the farm. Um, my grandmama taught me the best recipe on how to make a uh, home cured jelly. And see, you got to spread it with technique like no other. It's in all in the wrist. You see how my wrist moves you see gently the with the <laughs> knife. You see how carefully she is putting on the jelly. She's just doing a wonderful job. That looks delicious. Thank you, chef. Thank you. <gasps> oh, the chef's be appeared to be doing some last minute plating. Nine. Oh, there's a clock eight, going. There's a clock going. Seven. Six. She's running back and forth. Here we have, five, here we have chef over here. She's plating. Her plating is look at that beautiful. She's taking two, so much. Oh, look at this. She's one, putting on some last minute. Oh, salt. Ooh, that looks so good. Chef A's, as you can see, is um, how they incorporated the um, the sweet potato fries very nicely. <laughs> very nicely. You can see that she added her own seasonings on top of the other seasonings. It's very, it's 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 um, it's just divine. divine. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was very. You can just tell how much care and how much effort she put into this. Even though it was a little bit last minute, she pulled it together, and it looks like it's a success. Okay, and here she made. She appears to have made a PB and J. Her own twist on it. She said it was like, you know, she's Irish, and she said it was her family's recipe. She put, um, she had, she had crunchy peanut butter, not creamy, crunchy peanut butter with almonds. They're salted almonds. Just had like a, you know, a salty twist to bring out the sweet sugars inside. Because you know, it's, a, it's generally a sweet dish. So she added the almonds to bring that out, and then, and then she sprinkled sugar on top, which really added. A, <laughs> Added a nice, a nice texture to it. So yeah, okay. And so Chef B over here appears to have made. She in incorporated the <laughs> French fries in a completely new way. She she added her own seasoning again, but this is different than the other seasonings. She made <laughs> she made it more Asian so that it 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 went along with her dish. And her her soup she appears to have made is um, noodles. They're rice noodles, and she added her own chicken broth with a, um, a really nice garnish of the chili oil, which has a really nice, like, earthy flavor. It's really, really tasty. I've had it before. And she added some herbs in here. They're fresh from the garden. It just, everything looks fabulous here, chefs. Um, so judges, here's to you. So I'm Judge Terry, and this is Judge Mary. And, Judge <laughs> and now we're gonna be talking about dish A. So dish A is up first, and I'm gonna take a bite first and see how it is. You, would you like a fry, Terry? Thank you. Mmm, the fries are really good. Really crisp. How does sandwich taste? Tasty judges, how is it? Mmm. <laughs> mm. You know, I really like what she did here. We we'll put a little extra sugar on top. You can the sugar just comes through so well. Mmm. You know, I'm getting some almond taste mm. right now. It's really good. I like the crunch of the almond. The it's really of the nice. Almond. Mm. It's and, so, and the crunchy peanut butter tastes much better than the creamy peanut butter. Mm. So well, great. it looks fabulous. All right. Well, let's look at uh, dish B here oh, now. <laughs> Chef continuing eating here. Okay, if we can just wrap this up, judges. All right, all right. So dish B is um, some spring on onion noodles. Would you like a fry, Chef Mary? Mmm. <laughs> the broth is really nice. It has a nice earthy taste from the oil. Mmm. Mm. The noodles are per cooked perfectly. Right consistency, right firmness. <laughs> wow. It's that is great. 
Divine. Let's That's taste it. Let's taste the fries. Now I'm curious. I'm curious. Is there a different seasoning on these fries? Is it more of an Asian different. twist? Completely it's different. Asian. It's kind of like yin and yang, you know, chef. It's like. Oh, I think she put sesame oil on it. Oh, mm -hmm. which is you really can, good. The sesame oil just bursts through the flavor of the and natural. And there's wasabi flakes too. Really good. Okay, so to wrap it up. We this is definitely going to be a tough decision here for the judges. Such, okay, we've got to All right. All right. We'll get back to you. All right. Commercial break. I think we've come to a decision. Okay, after a long deliberation, there's two meals that both tasted fantastic. But, but in the end, it came down to presentation, taste, and really what the you did of the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. And so we'd like to declare the winner. <laughs> Chef, Chef A. A! Congratulations! Woo! One of the closest ones we have in ages. Anyways, congratulations, Chef A.